Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today is a Cinema 4D tutorial on how to render with no background. Uh, I made a tutorial on this a while back, I'd say a week now. Uh, basically, you can how to render a picture with no background. And today is kind of a step up to the how to render like a video with uh, no, with no background, which um, which can be quite tricky. So just say you kind of have your scene set up here and you go to... Uh, MoGraph text object, and you know, just kind of have your text. Just say you type uh, Connor. Yeah, I just change the font here. Um, what font should I use? I use some Batman font. Actually, no, I use Bank Gothic. Yeah, I'll just kind of lower the horizontal space into it. Doesn't look ridiculously stupid. Just add some caps, you know, it's kind of like the general text. What you generally do when you're making it. Uh, just kind of maybe increase a bit more now the caps have been added. And there we go, you've got some decent text. It's going to go to File, Shader, and New Key. And just add that on, just a shiny blue, just so you can kind of see where I'm going. There you go. And as you see, you kind of got the text set up there. But you notice you've got a black background. And if you were to render this as an AVI or a um, MOV, you'll notice that the black background will still be there. And as much as you can kind of color correct, I mean, uh, chroma key that in Sony Vegas or After Effects, it, it doesn't leave as crisp edges as, as you like. So what we are going to do is we're going to go to render, render settings. And I always suggest to do render settings before you ever animate. For example, that you want your preset, you want it on HD or 1280 by 720 as opposed to 3, uh, anyway, you, you want YouTube dimensions if you are going to be uploading. And frame range, you want uh, manual. And I'll do it 0 to just keep zero to 20 frames. Wait, no. What have I just done? Oh, Christ. Anyway, 0 to 20 frames. And I'll change that to 1. And um, we're going to be using 0 to 20. That's going to be our timeline. So, for example, we'll go to keyframe 1. I'm going to generally set this up here. And just make it go back a bit. And just hit the little keyframe button. Go forward by 20 and move it forward again and hit the keyframe button. And if you go from the beginning, you'll notice that it comes forward like so. Now we're at the stage where we want to render. Now, first things first, you want to go to where are you going to save it? For example, I'm going to save on the desktop. So we're going to go to File, New Folder, and I'm going to call it Tutorial. After all, this is a tutorial. Uh, a make that. And you want to go to Cinema 4D, you want to go to Render, Render Settings, and then go to Save, you want to save it, um, I'll call it 1, and then I'll just go to the desktop where I saved it, and into Tutorial, and actually now I'll change this to Tut, something different, click Save, you want to make it on PNG, yes you want on PNG, despite this is going to be rendered as a movie, don't worry, make sure you've got Alpha Channel ticked as well. And uh, that is it. So if you just go ahead and render this out here, the same will happen. You won't notice much difference. But for example, if we go to Shift R, which is render, and it will just kind of render this out here. Here we go. Yeah, it will be. It doesn't take that long, you know. Nice settings have really been added, and it is quite basic, you know. There we go. It's rendered to 20. Go into After Effects. You will need After Effects for this. I do not. I don't. I think I tried this with Sony Vegas. It didn't work. You need. So you need After Effects. Go to File, Import, and File, and go to the Desktop. And under Tutorial, just drag in. Just click the first one, and then drag it in, like so. And I've got it on quarter here. We're just going to go to full. You will notice that this. The it will still animate despite you've only added the one picture. You know it's got a black background, so if you just go to File New and just make a solid, I'll just make it like a whitish grey, make comp size, and drag it below, you'll notice that there is no background. And so there you go, that's how to render with no background uh, a video. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Wait, render with no background on this video. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching this. Uh, that's how to render with no background. I've been Connor with Chrome Designs. And uh, thank you for watching this video.